Rock singer Neil Young started the movement January 24th when in an open letter to his management and record company, he said wanted his classic collection of songs to be pulled from the music streamer due to the spread of COVID-19 vaccine misinformation on the platform, and specifically called out Rogan. Two days after Young's letter was published, Spotify agreed to remove the Grammy-winning singer's catalog from its content library. Joni Mitchell and David Crosby were among musicians that soon followed suit. Rogan responded to the growing list of artists speaking out against his podcast in a video on Instagram January 30th saying he was very sorry they feel that way. These podcasts are strange because they are just conversations, he said. I want to thank Spotify for being so supportive during this time and am very sorry that this is happening to them and they're taking so much heat from it. Many famous faces have shown solidarity with Young, asking Spotify to remove their content, others are offering their thoughts on the debate. Here are some of their responses. Political commentator and comedian Stewart called the controversy between Rogan and the music artists an overreaction in a February 4th episode of his podcast The Problem with Jon Stewart. Stewart added that there should be more of an emphasis on having a discussion with others, rather than withdrawing. Stewart also placed blame on social media algorithms, which he says leads people to misinformation. Misinformation will always be out there, but if the algorithm drives people further and further down the rabbit hole, the algorithm is the amplifier and the catalyst of extremism, he said. Young's open letter, originally published January 24, has since been taken down, but kicked off the Spotify exodus and gave the streaming service an ultimatum, they can have, Joe, Rogan or Young. Not both. I am doing this because Spotify is spreading fake information about vaccines, potentially causing death to those who believe the disinformation being spread by them, he wrote. Spotify responded to Neil's decision on January 26 We regret Neil's decision to remove his music from Spotify, but hope to welcome him back soon, a Spotify spokesperson said in a statement to USA Today. The acclaimed singer-songwriter said on her website that she will be removing her entire catalog of music from the streaming platform. Irresponsible people are spreading lies that are costing people their lives, Mitchell wrote. I stand in solidarity with Neil Young and the global scientific and medical communities on this issue. Nils Lofgren, who played on Young's latest release Barn is a member of Crazy Horse and is also a member of Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band, posted a note on Neil Young Archives website announcing